Welcome back to the Freezing Bear office. In today's video, we're gonna be checking out some more Spence Diamond ads. So let's just get right into that. Michael, yes, Callum. Why did you buy the company? That is a good question. I think we've all been wondering that. Why did Michael end up buying the company? Because he doesn't seem like he's able to run a company. He seems like he's completely in over his head. He has no idea what he's doing. It seems that Michael is a really slow learner because he's been with the Spence Diamond team for ages now. They've made so many ads together, but he still is the one who's always like, well, what's this? And why is that happening? What kind of diamond is this? We sell diamonds at Christmas time? Why would anybody buy them then? You know, he's like, he doesn't know the answers to some of the most easiest questions. So how do you think Michael responds to that question? Does he A, give a huge in-depth answer on why he bought the company? Does he B, just give a witty reply? Or C, does he say, I can't say? Comment down below to lock in your answers. Why did you buy the company? I can't say. So if you know Michael, you probably found that very easy. Obviously it was answer C. I wouldn't be surprised if Michael doesn't even know the answer to that question and is still trying to find that out himself. Maybe Michael bought the company because he knows he can't retain any information about diamonds and he still wants to be seen as like, you know, part of the ship, part of the crew. So he was like, if I buy the company, then, you know, I'll be one of the team and then, you know, I'll be able to control the team. So maybe it's about control. He's like one of those socially awkward people that sets up a business so that way they can hire employees that they can take advantage of because they don't get enough human connection, so they need that weird power dynamic that they can misuse and be like, yeah, I'm the boss, so you know, you gotta listen to me and everything like that. But let's hope for the sake of Sarah and Callum that that isn't the case, because then they would be in a really toxic workplace. Do you mean you don't know? No, I know why I bought the company, I just can't say. We'll believe it when we see it, Michael. Michael's like, yeah, I do know why, of course, yeah. Um, I, it's just that I, uh, I can't say. Yeah, that's right, I can't say, I, I, I just don't, I don't, I can't say at the moment, you know? For argument's sake, maybe Michael is telling the truth. Maybe he's caught up in like a lawsuit with the person he bought the company from. Maybe they advertised a few things that he didn't get when he bought the company. And maybe Michael's legal advice was like, don't say anything about why you bought the company. Things are very different in the Spence Diamond universe, so that could be true also. I'm still on the side that he's socially awkward and wants to manipulate his employees, but I'm willing to be proven wrong. Yeah, I just can't say. At least not right now. I, ju I just, I swear, I can't say right now. I just, I really want to, but I just can't. You know, I, I definitely have a really good reason. I know my actions have shown you that I have no idea what I'm doing running this business, but please just ignore all those. Comment down below if you think you know the reason why Michael is keeping this all a secret. He's thinking about a name change, changing it from Spence Diamonds to Michael's Diamonds or something like that. He changes the end part of the ads as well. It's like, Michael's Diamonds, yodle hee hoo. <laughs> Did you ever figure out why I was chosen to run Spence Diamonds? This workplace is worse than I thought. Every ad, I think it's pretty bad. And then another ad comes out and boom, it just gets worse and worse. Apparently Callum has no idea why he was chosen to run Spence Diamonds. Did you ever figure out why I was chosen to run Spence Diamonds? Callum's like, I don't know how I got here. No, seriously, I don't know how I ended up in a Spence Diamonds store. I can't remember. I'm trying to go back through my memories, but I have no memories on how I got here. I can't leave. They're keeping me here. Help me. All these characters in here are just so lost. You know, Michael doesn't know what he's doing running a company. Sarah just kind of jumps into conversations and makes assumptions and generally doesn't really know what she's doing either. And then you got Callum who doesn't even know why he's been chosen to run the company. If you think you had it tough with your dysfunctional family, all you have to do is look at the Spence Diamond team and then you'll feel a lot better about yourself. You're like, okay, yeah. It actually wasn't so bad. <laughs> Most people get the job of running a company because they're good at it and because they know what they're talking about or they're at least good at faking that. So the answer should be pretty simple, Callum. It's probably because you're good at your job. So in a perfect world, that would be the answer to that question. But we're in the Spence Diamond universe, which is far from perfect. Far from perfect. Just a sneaky callback to one of their previous ads. I'm starting to think Callum's like an alien from another planet and he just ended up in Spence Diamonds one day. And they're like, yeah, you look pretty knowledgeable about diamonds. So yeah, why don't you start working for us? And he's like, all right. And then he's just been there ever since. Did you ever figure out why I was chosen to run Spence Diamonds? Yes, I figured that out a few months ago. Will you tell me? You've got a lot of questions today, Callum. But come on, Michael. If you know the answer to it, just share it with Callum because he's the only guy here who even knows what he's doing. If Callum left Spence Diamonds, the company would just like drop off a cliff, you know? He's the only one keeping it together. So like, just, just be nice to him and answer his question. You know, he for some reason is feeling a little lost at the moment, doesn't really know why he's here, what his purpose in life is. So, you know, just humor him, help him out. He's maybe going through a little rough patch. 
Either that or he's an alien and he doesn't really know how human civilization works. And in that case, that's gonna involve a, like a way larger conversation and discussion that could take quite a while. But you know, you could still do that after work, you know. You need to show Callum that there's a reason to stay at Spence Diamonds. Otherwise he's gonna start his own one and it'll be like Callum's Diamonds or something like that. And you don't need that extra competition. With rising interest rates, diamond sales are at all time lows. You've got a lot of questions today, Callum. I've only got two more. <sighs> Okay, but only two. Okay, I think it's pretty clear Michael is one of the worst bosses out there. You have an employee that wants to ask you two questions and you're like, oh, God damn it, do you really have to ask me those? Just answer the f***ing questions, Michael. He's definitely one of those socially awkward bosses that has that weird power dynamic with their employees. This ad is only proving me more and more correct as it goes along. Michael just seems to have this talent for bothering me in pretty much every single ad he's in. And just when I think maybe this ad will be slightly different, boom, slap in the face. Oh, Michael's up to his usual tricks again. I guess it's just like the saying, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on you twice. If fool me, we can't get fooled again. Will I ever get to meet the man who chose me? Possibly. And of course, Michael has to be super vague with his answer too, because apparently in this ad, we're not supposed to find anything out. We're just supposed to have like a million more questions. If HR got wind of these strange workplace relationships, they'd be like, okay guys, shut it down. There's nothing we can do to fix this. This is just done, okay? Everybody leave, okay? For the next two months, you'll be taking courses on how to work professionally in a workplace environment. How does Callum not know who chose him to run Spence Diamonds? Like, how does that work? That'd be like working at McDonald's and then somebody's like, oh yeah, who hired you? And you'd be like, I don't know. I just, I just, I'm just there. <laughs> Did he not have an interview with anybody before he got hired? Maybe there's some Spence Diamond lore that I'm missing out on. Is he some sort of AI that is starting to become sentient and it's like, hey guys, I know I've been making all these ads for you, but why am I here? You know, why am I here? <laughs> now ask me your last question. Uh, this is awkward. Just say it. I'm on a tight schedule, goddammit. I got a call with the Diamond Cartel in two minutes and I cannot be late. Just say it. Now that you own Spence Diamonds, do you plan to keep me? Definitely. Unless Michael is an AI, there is definitely something sketchy going on. Callum asks Michael, like, will you still keep me now that you own Spence Diamonds? And Michael's like, yes, of course I will. But it's like, keep me, like, as in own you? Now that you own Spence Diamonds, do you plan to keep me? Why is Callum talking as if he can be owned? I wouldn't be surprised if Callum went on saying, will you take me on long walks? Will you give me tummy scratches? Will you never forget to feed me? So Callum must not be human then, right? Because I think it'd be a bad look for Spence Diamonds if they were talking about like owning people and stuff like that. Because Callum's not saying, will I still keep my job? He's saying, will you still keep me? Inferring that Callum is something that can be owned by someone. Like, cause that would be a weird way. Like that you wouldn't go to your boss and be like, oh, are you still keeping me? Callum, you're always thinking about the customer and how to make sure the customer is happy. The man who chose you was like that too, Callum. So apparently Sarah also knows who made Callum in charge of Spence Diamonds. For Callum's sake, there better be a good reason why they're holding this back. And if it's some sort of trade secret, like it's the secret formula to their diamond growth success or whatever, then, you know, just tell him it's a trade secret. You know, give him some sort of answer. Why has everyone met him but me? Happy Valentine's Day on three. One, two, three. Happy, Happy Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. Callum just straight up gets cut off. He's like, why has everybody met him except me? And they're like, oh, happy Valentine's Day on three. Sorry, didn't hear that. In previous Spence Diamond ads, I've been annoyed because of their advertising techniques and like making their diamonds seem way better than they actually are. But this ad is on a whole nother level. I've never been this confused after listening to a Spence Diamond ad. So there you go. That was me dissecting a Spence Diamond ad in probably too much detail. If you did enjoy it, please give it a like and please subscribe. And if you haven't, why not check out some of my other videos I've made on Spence Diamond ads. Yeah.